Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know that I don't usually speak on here and I don't usually do vlogs because most people want to hear me sing, but I wanted to say first and foremost, thank you for your support on all of my videos. Thank you for clicking this video and watching it. Um, I really am thankful for all the support that you've been giving me and I wanted to let you know that this is a positive space here on my channel and I hope that you feel good watching my videos and that you feel good after watching my videos. So let's get into the video. Yesterday I went to the MFA which is the Museum of Fine Arts here in Boston and because of my school me and my friend get in for free so it was a really easy and fun thing to do on the weekend and it was a plus for me because I like museums I love seeing all the history I love being able to step back in time I don't know if you've ever read a book in class or you've watched a movie or you've been in a museum and you want to be like a ghost to see everything like you want to go back in time and see everything for yourself that's exactly how I feel being in a museum. And this clip is really cool because there's this game called Assassin's Creed and you're basically a demigod in the Greek world and you kill people, yes. But you know what? It's fair because they're out to kill you because you're a demigod and they're cultists and they want to steal the power from the Greek for the Greek world themselves. So it was really cool like stepping into the game like in real life basically. Man, I swear, looking at all the jewelry in the museum, those people knew exactly what they were doing because almost every piece I wanted to take home for myself, and obviously I know you can't, but there are a lot of similar pieces online that you can get, and so that was just really fascinating. I didn't think that it was so trendy. This woman gave me a little bit of the creeps. I can't remember what it was for, but just seeing her laying there <laughs> felt really weird. Okay, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I think this room was hands down one of the nicest rooms in the whole MFA because you get to actually step inside of the room and be surrounded by all of the history. And it's not like I'm getting flashbacks because I wasn't actually there. Mm. Or maybe I was in a different lifetime, I don't know. But you get, you just get like chills knowing that people actually use this stuff so many years ago. Um, let me know down below if you really like like period movies and like the 17 1800s type of stuff regardless of everything that went down in america but we're just gonna ignore that <laughs> let me know so i definitely didn't get to see everything in the mfa because it's just too darn big but i was really excited to see the african artifact section but i don't think it was big enough so if anybody knows if it's bigger please let me know oh there's me being me okay <laughs> I am so sorry for the lack of transition and the absolute monstrous growl that came out of my mouth. I don't know what that was. But something really cool that I don't think they do in Florida at Dave & Buster's is 21 and plus after 10 o'clock. So it was really nice that all the kids left and we got to have more space in the place that rhymed. Those were my prizes. Um, I paid a lot of money for some measly tickets, but you know, we're living for the experience. Hello, I just came back from Dave and & Buster's and earlier today we went to the Museum of Fine Arts which is a museum filled with a whole bunch of artifacts from like the dawn of time. Well, should I say that? I shouldn't say the dawn of time because there's no like Neolithic era type or like Mesopotamia type of stuff but like Egyptian to now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so... That was really cool. I liked it. I like museums. Like that's one of my favorite pastimes. So that's something that I really enjoyed. And then of course, like 
who doesn't like Dave and Buster's? Dave and Buster's is so much fun. The only thing that's not fun is having to spend your money just to get some measly tickets. Like that's the only downside. But it was nice. And then after I like I like 10 o'clock, they got all the kids out and it was like 21 plus, so that was really cool. But yeah, that was my night. I was super excited to like get out. I haven't been out like <clears throat> I haven't been out since I've come back, which is really sad. I came back January 19th and it's February 12th. So that's almost a whole month and I have not gone to do anything. So I'm really glad that I got to like see my friend and her friend and we all hung out and it was lots of fun. I bought a shirt, I bought a skirt at the mall. <laughs> um, I don't know where this money is coming from, but it happened yeah th that was my day like i know it may not be the in most interesting thing particularly but like i love to share these kinds of things i love vlogging i love you so i just wanted to share my experience like we're besties we're besties here like i don't care who you are we're besties okay but yeah <laughs> that was it um do i have anything else to say i don't think so it was just a good time and I like being out. Now, I'm going to slip into bed and I'm going to, no, I'm going to take off my makeup first. Then I'm going to slip into bed. I'm going to pour myself some probiotic juice like an old woman. And I'm going to be sipping on it while watching Black Swan. And that is my night. Text my boyfriend, make sure he's okay while he's partying and go to sleep. <laughs> and that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Please comment and make sure that if you have like any questions you get them answered if you want to see any other kind of video i will definitely do it for you within reason nothing too crazy um yeah that's it thank you so much for watching if you've gotten this far and i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>